Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Krishna Flower. I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. I'm also the server owner of the polyphasic discord and I'm a moderator on the r slash polyphasic subreddit. So today I thought we'd spend some time talking about how to prepare for a polyphasic adaptation. Uh, over the discord we've gathered nine essential tips for new people who want to start a polyphasic schedule. Uh, basically what to do before you start. Um, and I just thought we'd go through these tips with you today. So let's get into it. The first tip that I have is to take some time to prepare for your adaptation. During this time, you want to quit coffee, quit smoking, drugs and excess sugar. And you also want to take some time to start exercising and eating healthier to give your immune system a boost. And you also want to start conditioning yourself to get up the moment your alarm goes off. Now, this isn't an essential tip per se. You can also start conditioning yourself in the beginning of your adaptation in the first stage. But it's really going to be much easier if you do this before jumping in. Uh, it's just going to give you an extra boost per se. So we continue with the recommendation to start having both a night and morning routine. Now, I don't know if you have children, but if you have, you've probably heard that it's best to have night routine since it helps your children fall asleep faster. Uh, what this entails is basically taking a few hours before your bedtime and doing the same activities each day just so they get conditioned to fall asleep faster. Uh, well, this works for adults too. If you follow a strict routine where certain cues are made in the right order, like taking a shower, brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, drinking a glass of water, putting your pajamas on, doing some light stretching exercise or whatever you think is appropriate, you will actually start to fall asleep faster, just if you do this every day. Now, it's pretty similar with the morning routine, only your goal is to be as awake as possible. And if it comes to the worst case scenario, go on autopilot until you get to the step in your morning routine that wakes you up by force. So your morning routine can consist of jumping out of bed, uh, going to the bathroom, splashing your face with water, uh, doing some jumping jacks, you know, a few push-ups, giving yourself positive affections and getting dressed. If you were to wake up really sleepy and groggy, uh, your body would hopefully carry you to the bathroom where you splash your face and wake up by force because of it. The next point of the list of how to prepare for polyphasic adaptations is to inform people around you what you will be doing and how it's going to be affecting them. Uh, your friends need to know when they will be able to call you or when they should absolutely not call you because you're sleeping. You should also make them understand how important sleep is to you. For example, your new lifestyle might not permit you going to lunch with them at a certain time anymore because it's either very close to sleeping or you'll be napping then. Your family members need to know when you're going to wake up during the night and you need to take their possible needs into account as well. Uh, if you live with other people, you should try to discuss on relying on them as a human alarm if everything else fails. And set clear boundaries to which alarms you're allowed to use. Uh, there are silent ones, so don't panic if your roommate tells you that you can absolutely not blast a loud alarm because he needs to be able to sleep interrupted the whole night. Additionally, it's important for them to understand what the adaptation process will be like for you. You might have a worse short-term memory, so ask them to write up important tasks or events that they want you to finish during the adaptation process so you make sure that you remember them. Your mood might also be fluctuating quite heavily, so be sure to inform them that anything you say uh, is going to be from a really bad place and you don't actually mean it, it's just a sleep deprivation talking. You can read more about what effects the adaptation period will have on you on polyphasic.net. Next on the list of things you should do is you should try to scout out possible NAC locations. Say you don't work from home and you're sometimes on and about in the city. There can come a time when you need to nap but you're far away from your usual nap spot. In this situation, knowledge is your best weapon. 
because you don't want to be unprepared. You don't want to have to run around to look for a nap spot, you know, raising your pulse, getting the adrenaline pumping, because it's going to ruin your sleep. So say you go to school. In this case, it might be good to find an empty classroom where you can nap, map out when certain classrooms are going to be empty so you know that you can enter them and sleep there. Libraries work well, they usually even have comfy chairs that you can nap in, or you know, find a sofa in the hallway where you can nap. If you go to work, you might be able to roll out a yoga mat and nap this next to your desk, or you might be able to cushion up a chair in your break room and nap there, you know, something of that sort. If you're going to the city, think about where you usually travel and where to find nap locations near those places where you can nap comfortably and safely. It's a good idea to prepare a nap kit for these situations. More information on those will come in a future video. Next, we have reading up to understand polyphasic adaptations and what to expect. Information is your best weapon against failure, so take your time to read through polyphasic.net, the helpful bot commands on the Discord and ask any questions when they arise. You can also gather your information as you are adapting, uh, but it's generally a better idea to be prepared before starting in completely blind. It's especially important that you're aware of how your adaptation is expected to progress, and for you to know if you failed or got stuck in a cycle of oversleeping. This information is of course available on, the, on both polyphasic.net and the Discord. If we continue with this list, we can see that it continues with the recommendation for people to start considering shifting their course bedtime or wake time towards the planned course bedtime or wake time, if possible. See, it really helps if you are either used to sleeping at the same time or waking up at the same time when you shorten your sleep. You should, however, prefer to sleep at the same time as before, as that would be less taxing on your body. So if your schedule allows it, Try to go to bed at the same time as you will when you will be adapting. Next, we have a very important point, uh, which is to install and practice using all apps that you might need during the adaptation, like alarm apps, blue and green light filtering apps, productivity apps, and so on. You don't want to save this for later. When you're very tired, it's going to be really hard to understand how these apps work. And it saves you a lot of hassle if you get them when you aren't sleep deprived. What you want to do is preset all alarms, uh, program the red filter strength to shift at a specific time and so on. Believe me, it's not a good idea to hold up on this. Do it as soon as possible. Anyways, back to the point. You should ensure that your health and safety tolerates a polyphasic adaptation. If you have stress aggravated medical cause conditions like cardiovascular diseases, epilepsy, suicidal thoughts, anything of the sort, you shouldn't start a polyphasic adaptation. You'll be going through weeks of mind to severe sleep deprivation, uh, where the severity depends on the person and the schedule you've chosen. So you should consult with a doctor to determine if short term sleep deprivation is an acceptable risk for you. For some situations, it might be okay to attempt a polyphasic adaptation. Uh, for others, it might be necessary to go only for a schedule that doesn't shorter your total sleep. And for a third group, monophasic sleep might be the only option. Ensure that your health allows that you proceed. Information about some medical conditions can be found on polyphasicuba.net, just as a heads up. Now let's get to the last point. Uh, what you also want to do is create two huge lists for when you are adapting. One with tasks towards major motivating goals that inspire your interest in more time or better sleep. Tasks in this list will probably require a bit of mental power and can be done when you're feeling somewhat alert. The next list you want to have is for easy time consuming tasks that you can do when you're tired and unmotivated like cleaning, cooking, laundry, organizing, exercising, taking care of pets, and so on. This list will be your biggest friend during the roughest parts of the adaptation. And you will thank yourself for having it done before you get to the most tiresome parts. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you guys are ready to start your adaptations and that this video gave you some good ideas. Uh, tell us in the comments below did you consider all of these points or did you learn something new here? 
do you think that all of these points are important or do you think you can sort of shift some of these and not follow them through? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways, take care, nap well. Hey, thanks for making it this far. I want to take this time to shout out our coffee page. Donations go a long way with improving the knowledge of the community and helps us continue the upkeep of polyfacek.net. We plan on funding experiments and sleep trackers for members of the community in the future, and that in turn helps us make sure the scientific endeavors of polyphasic sleep are kept up. And if you like our content, we would really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Also, if you'd like to chat with us, you can join our Discord. This is where most polyphasic sleep-related discussions take place. The link will be in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you later.